Amsatu hasn't seen her husband in nearly a week. Amid ethnic clashes that have displaced thousands of people in Burkina Faso and killed dozens. I don't know where my husband is. Some people say he's dead, but I cannot believe it. I wonder where he is. It's been five days and I don't know where he is and I have no information. Her village of Yergu, made up largely of people from the Mossi ethnic group, was attacked at night by armed men on motorbikes. The government says seven people were killed. The next day, Yergu residents apparently retaliated by killing 39 people in Fulani herding communities across the region, who they suspect of harboring the assailants. On the other side of the ethnic divide, Hawa, a Fulani, is also missing her husband. After a vigilante militia known as the Kolweogo came to her home in Begeli, 10 kilometers from Yergu. This was the room where we kept all our things. And today, all you see are ashes because they burned everything. My husband's motorcycle as well. Fortunately, he managed to escape and found refuge somewhere. The government says 6,000 people have been displaced. Many of Yergu's residents are now sheltering in the town of Barcelojo, too scared to return home. The ethnic violence echoes problems seen in neighboring Mali, where the Fulani have been accused of hiding Islamists who have carried out attacks across the region. On Friday, Burkina's parliament extended a state of emergency by six months in several northern provinces, where attacks by Islamist militants have surged in recent months though that state of emergency does not cover the region around Yergu.